What better way to make a grand entrance here in a debut than with the Dodge Demon on lockdown doing donuts outside the building? What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back here once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we have got something very special in store for you here today. One of the most highly requested things we ever do is finally back. It's been a little while. It's been about five months, but it has returned. We are here at the Allegiant Stadium with the Beam NG Monster Truck mods, and we have got some brand new ones to check out, including this one my all-time favorite monster truck has finally made it with a fully destructible body and that's not the only thing with a destructible body we're gonna let avengers show us how to kick things off the right way we might have rolled up in that demon but we are not rolling out in it let's run that back even one more time let's get that demon out of us before we go do a freestyle that should warm things up that'll line us up here we're gonna waltz right into the stadium the home of the las vegas raiders beautifully modeled here in beam and g it's going to be the home to some absolute carnage. We are going to unleash chaos here and burn it down. What do you say we do it for Al Davis here with that big old torch? Really, we're going to torch the place here with a 10 truck freestyle show featuring all kinds of trucks from past and present. And of course, not even modified a little bit myself. You know, when we come to these soundhead shows, we got to add a little extra pizzazz to that course. You know, I love crushable obstacles out here. Monster Jam and the like may have lost the weight, but we never will. Look at this. I got tanker stacks, bus stacks, RVs sitting out here. We're going to add some more stuff as the runs go on if we need to. Look at how beautiful this 1957 Chevy Bel Air body looks on a monster truck. I have been waiting so long to tear this thing up. What better way to get this started than for a lineup of the century? We got to fly this thing out. We got to air out a brand new stadium. And here we go. Put Avenger on the clock. We are going to get things started here in Las Vegas with a jump over the double bus stack. And let's just take a minute to appreciate the sound of the CRC mod. It is so good. Let's just take a listen. Crank it up. Couple that sound with the improved production quality here. We got multiple camera angles here in the camera path that are putting in work over the containers and then through the van stack. This feels like I'm watching Monster Jam on Speed Channel all over again as a childhood classic. And I tell you what, they sure as hell weren't doing beautiful backflips like that when I was a child. They would have turned to dust at the mere thought of such a thing. And look at the air over the simple dirt mouse. We can make anything a massive jump if we want to. Here's another prime example of this. We just gotta pace ourselves a little bit. This is the first run of the day. That being said, though, this is also a great time to impress. So what better way to do it than to take out one of our sworn enemies? The camper is gone. And the bus stack is up next, but that's gonna kick us off to our side. We're gonna have to make a save here. Oh, up on two wheels, dancing around. What can we do? What do you think? Place your votes, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna shed some skin, dent the berry bus, and drive away from it. Just scoring style points is all that is. You know how we do things around here. This van stack gonna get another slap across the side of the head. Up the bus stack the other way. Can't quite get over the top of that. We're taking a detour over to the Barry bus again, and we're coming right at you in 3D. And what is now the 57 Chevy Bel Air convertible. That thing is looking badass. Nice little mid-run modification. And how about a mid-run modification of the suspension right there on that bus? I think we just busted it open. That could be a problem, especially when we're trying to make a save, but we pull it through. And that suspension is definitely toasted, but that's gonna help us get over that car stack. From there on out, we don't have much of a say in what we hit, so why not slam down on that camper one last couple times? Maybe even do it while we're upside down here looking for that save, but we are gonna get it with the shock flopping around in the background. That's how you know we had a good run there. Avenger and its destroyable body panels make it a great return, debut, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, it was good. I waited so long for that. And I've been waiting for this one for a little while too. Megalodon has made its way into the Beam Monsters scene. And this thing looks sick. I've only had this truck in my life since I've been a grown man. And I am not at all ashamed to admit that honestly, I think it is one of the all time coolest monster trucks ever. Just a big ass shark. Just taking on the track. I respect the hell out of that. Getting sky wheelies right off the bat. Gonna come air it out over here on the other side too because it just looks too good to see a shark flying through the air like that. How could you not appreciate that? I can't appreciate that we just barely rubbed up against one of those cars and we lost a tire and our tail. This is turning tragic real fast here for the Meg. Well, if we already lost the wheel, what else can we lose? Let's just go ahead and send it over the camper. We might have to sacrifice another couple of wheels to the wreck fest. It's looking like that's exactly what's going to happen. 
You do not want to get pieces of that camper caught up in your suspension. It will rip it apart, and it seems to have done exactly that. Look at that damage. This, this mag, it is crawling. It's learning to walk. I don't know what. We're all going to be screwed when sharks can get on land and just start messing our world up like it did that van stack, and it's dancing on its nose. Imagine that. I've been telling people to follow our TikTok. Just wait till sharks take over TikTok with these dances. Look at this. They're going to make that one from the Super Bowl with Katy Perry a few years ago look real stupid. And how are they not? What am I even looking at right here? This thing has gone to hell and back. And there's another grab on the container. Somehow didn't flip the truck right there. This is an unbelievable performance out of the Meg right now. Slams it into the side of the backflip ramp. Now what? The gearbox getting grinded all the smithereens. But we'll have to allow that one because I can see what it's setting up. We are going to go for the backflip to end this run. Can we land it on the wheels? No, we cannot, and that is going to bring an end to the run. That was a super run indeed. We talked about Super Bowl performances. The Super Bowl is going to be in the stadium pretty soon, and they're going to need a monster truck-sized halftime show is what I'm learning here today. And just like that, we are on to our next truck with a truck that I've seen perform in real life. We've got bad company out here. Just a classic-looking Silverado here with the chrome grill. I like the look of this one a lot. Hopefully, we'll do it proud as we're going to get this thing going nice and early with some big air. I always forget all the terminology between these episodes. What do you even call those things? I consider them like little pump-up jumps as we give that van a little kiss back there, let it know we're thinking about it. We'll be coming back later. We'll get some more air, and we'll ride that into a slap wheel, and we'll just haul it down the arena length. Just 100 yards. Call it a touchdown, why don't you? Trying to line it up down this set of ramps, but we can't quite find that groove, so just send it anyway, why don't you? We'll find a groove. We'll find some throttle control, and we might just find a dub here in freestyle with a move like that. Just a little casual backflip. There's nothing. I'm just moving along here. Just sprinkled in one of the finest moves I've ever seen, and then how about some massive cross-threading all the way across the arena floor. Looking for a little bit of that room to rotate now. Coming back around for another pump-up jump. It would look like it. Can we land that thing right on the bus and dent that in indeed? We do. Got to get some of those crush points out here. Got to get those points in air. How about a nice little sky wheelie? Bring it down without crashing into the fans. Here. There are some people really taking their lives into their own hands by just standing out in the open over there. But what better place to admire a beautiful backwards move like that when we're not done here. We're going to reverse another one over the containers with like a reverse wheelie over that thing. That was kind of wild. And we'll line it up here for a launch. Come on, pedals to the floor. I'm trying to show up on Nellis Air Force Base's radar at least a couple of times here today. We have got a mission, and that is it. Maybe the backflip ramp can help supply some of that as well, or maybe not if we don't get the full rotation. Smashing in the nose of the truck and still gathering it up enough to drive away, and we slap that van again. Can we slap on top of the bus as we do? But this does not look good down on the dome. Head first into the van stack, and that is going to do it. The truck is killed. It was in bad company the moment I got in. I know that for a fact. Well, here comes Freestyler number four entering the arena, and you want to talk about a staple of some of the smaller time promotions. Here is Quad Chaos with one of the coolest bodies in all of Monster Trucks once again here. We went all out for this show. I'm picking all my favorites out here in case you can't tell. And this one, much like Bad Company, is because I saw it run in real life one time, and it just caught my eye. I thought it was nice. You know what'll catch your eyes? A big move over the bus like that, and a backflip into the camper, just shoving it out of the way and landing it. That was a beautiful little flip move. I don't even know what to call that. So we'll just keep on trucking right over the top of the demon. We're going to crush that thing again. And usually we get our crushed cars from the junkyard. That thing, I hope we got insurance. We're going to need some insurance on the backflip for this ATV we landed. All right, the handlebars are safe. I'm surprised we still got those things, to be honest with you. We might be losing them here pretty quickly, though, if we keep backing up like that. We always just lost the run on an idiot little backup maneuver right there. That would have been sad. Let's land it right on the bus axle. Meet roof of the bus. The little safety hatch right there just got clamped down. That's going to be hard to get out of. Hopefully they don't go putting any of these buses back in like active school duty. That would be a bit of a problem considering their prior use. Lightly used buses for sale as we are creeping through this line here. Looking for something unique to do, and an idea is spawned right here. Let's see what happens next. A little backflip off the demon, maybe? Absolutely not. What a complete and utter fail. 
There go the handlebars just right down on your own face you go, Quad Chaos. That is a bit of a tough way to end the run, but it was an all right run. So we'll give it to you. We'll go ahead and move along. We'll pretend that didn't happen. And what better way to sidetrack things than with an all-time goat sighting? It's a classic alert, ladies and gentlemen. Bigfoot 10 is on the scene, powering down the line for us already. We're gonna throw it back a little bit with this one. A little classic freestyle run. Oh my God, it burst into flame. That took 20 seconds. What? Well, first of all, I hope you don't think I'm gonna stop because of that. And secondly, what are the old, old fuel cells made of glass or something? What am I supposed to do with that? As we just about go head over heels on the bus stack. Airing out that, we gotta try to put that fire out. We gotta get some air on that thing. I don't know that that scientifically makes sense. We're gonna try anything out here. We're at a monster truck show. We're out here doing slap wheelies with a truck that is on fire. The local fire marshal, whoever's owning and operating this brand new stadium, is not gonna be pleased about this, but I got van stacks to attack, all right? This little pesky fire is not gonna stop me today. Bigfoot is not gonna be denied. We're taking out demons. We got mythological creatures getting destroyed all over this friggin' place. And that container sack just chewed me up and spit me back out the other way. That was one of the more remarkable things I've seen so far. We're gonna go for that backflip. Can it's old bones take it, Bigfoot? It doesn't look like it. Down on the side. Can we put any kind of gas in it to save it maybe off the ramp? No. Just a little spinal adjustment to end the run. That's a tough one. Bit of a sick joke that our last competitor just burnt to a crisp in front of our very eyes and the next truck we bring out is Firestorm. Yeah, we're all going to hell for that one, but you know what it is, what it is. Let's get this camper on its way to Valhalla. We just stomped on that thing. Talk about getting sacrificed. That was as perfect as it gets. We didn't take one ounce of damage from that. We might get a perfect 10 just for that alone. Give me a 40, whatever the scoring metric is these days. That was unbelievable. And we're going for a ride. The pump up jumps take out both of our axles. Our entire suspension just took an L. How in the world did that just happen? That went from looking like one of the coolest things ever to lame as can be, and now I can't even get over these van stacks. I had such a good record going against these things, and now they're gonna get one over on me. We do eventually pull away from it, but look at the legs on that thing, like a baby deer that's just been born. It is not looking good out here for Firestorm. What else can you do but stuff it right into the buses and over on the lid? How wheels, Firestorm? I don't know about you. That was a little pathetic. You can't come out here and just break your legs right from the get-go. How do you think the Baja men are doing these days? What do you think they're up to? Just being filthy rich and loaded probably by selling the rights to let the dogs out to freaking people who run monster truck shows for decades and just to get royalty up? Because this truck has seemingly been around for decades and it got a major facelift at some point. I actually saw the post facelift truck in real life, but it was blue. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just painted blue. All right. Tell with the old Mercury body, I guess. I thought that thing was kind of cool, but this one still looks nice. So we're putting that big tongue down in the dirt, really emulating the style of a mud as we are going for another just casual backflip over a jump. What, did somebody tell them we're going on a walk? We are not doing that. We're going on a ride, though. Oh, my word. Those ears are just flapping in the wind, too. Couldn't be happier. Just lost half of his skin and still happy as could be. Ears flapping in the wind, tail wagging. You know how dogs do. They don't give a damn about nothing. They're just happy to be here. And Monster Butt is no different unless it gets stuck in a van stack. This could be trouble. And over on the bus, and over on its lid. Just like that, it can all come to an end, ladies and gentlemen. You can never trust a monster truck. And this one in particular is gonna have to go to the vet, I would say, and that's gonna be quite a sight to behold. Well, I guess we're just keeping up with the theme of turning this new stadium into a zoo, and we're going a little prehistoric on them for this one. I remember Jurassic Attack from when I was a young man, but this is quite a bit different from that one. It looks, well, I mean, it looks pretty much the same. The horns, the overall shape pretty much the same. The colors look a lot cooler. The old one was just like bone color, and we just deep boned that RV. Absolutely smashed into oblivion. And I have never been one to lose points for backing up and not hitting a jump, so you know I gotta work a hit in there somewhere. So we air it out over the main stack with a fire going off in the background. We gotta try to keep these horns on for as long as we possibly can, but going after campers might not be the way to do it, but who gives a damn? 
Another camper sacrifice. Horrible day for campers, but we're gonna have some great camper discounts later at the end of the video. Just stick around for that. We'll be coming to you live from Allegiant Stadium, home of the Las Vegas Zoo, the used camper lot, and God knows what else. We're gonna have a lot of things on the used camper lot today, and that car we just destroyed might be one of them. We just crushed that thing down like three feet. Okay, with like a little chop top here. You can add body modification shop to the list of things we're operating out of this stadium. My God. We really rained down on that crush car with just 10,000 pounds flying out of the sky. And this backflip ramp is probably gonna get a pretty similar experience. Here we go, but we landed kind of on our side. That was a little kooky looking, but we got it done. And over that van stack again, surveying the damage. Uh, it's not looking good. It's looking real not good. But the good news for us is this run's looking all right. We just gotta finish it off strong here. Maybe a sky wheelie without bursting into flames this time would be nice. Maybe another one. Just a little baby one down the line here. Get this thing flipped around because this run's coming to a close. We got to make an impression on the judges. We got to go for some big cross thread in there. And there it is with a nice smooth landing to boot. We get the big sky wheelie worked in there. What else can we do? We got to work some flippy stuff in here somehow. Can we get a weird angle off of the ramp? We don't. We sure don't. I don't know what the hell that was supposed to be. I'm sticking up off of my suspension on the ground. That's not good. This is, oh, and there it goes, actually. We're just throwing suspension parts off of, there goes another one. That is gonna do it. You know what, yeah, I'm breaking in. I'm hitting the remote ignition interrupter on this one. We are going extinct here. Pack it in, get the volcano, the asteroid, whatever you need, we're done here. Now, how could you have a monster truck show with Monster Jam logos all around the arena and not bring out the icon with a little chrome on him this time? And he's gonna send it up to the cheap seats. Grave Digger with a nosebleed detected. Thankfully, those lights are still going. That one definitely showed up on Nellis Air Force Base, if I had to guess. Now the guys down at Area 51 are trying to figure out what in the world they just saw. This is beyond their understanding. That's not the only thing. Look, at we're gonna flip it around here. The drone cam working over time for even more massive air. And the truck gets pounded on the landing. Look at the suspension. The truck is crushed in. Oh, that could not have felt good on the back. We got at least eight vertebrates fused together on that one. And this thing, oh, the landings are not gonna be looking good from this at all. Even turn, it's looking like a chore and over it goes. Grave digger, six feet deep. The chrome gets cracked, much like in real life. Digger goes down for the count. Kinda early, man, pain. Well, here we go. What else could we cap off the show with after that? Then with another one of the all-time icons, Maximum Destruction. One of its 8,000 variations that they've made of this thing since I started watching Monster Jam. But it is a beauty all the same. The spikes might be a bit much for me. But you know what, I'll take it. The red's kind of cool. This is just red, not fire. Don't get it twisted. God forbid you get those confused as we get massive air to start this run. cross threading all the way across the track. We'll go ahead and flip that thing around, line it right back up and go for it again. Have you ever seen 10,000 pounds look so graceful? That sounds like a show on TLC. Anyway, we're going for the backflip and we get it. Landing those points, hitting those Max D signatures, it feels like. I know this truck's sole purpose of existing might just be to sell Hot Wheels, but damn it, I'm gonna live up to expectations and we just slammed out on the demon. Smack the camper out of the way to the disrespect. Just a casual smack to get it out of here and over the stack we go. Can we line up for the combo of stacks we do? No stack is safe around here and that can definitely be said after all the stuff we've torn up here today. We are gonna be severely in debt after this. Please hit that like button. I have a family to feed. Not to mention the owners of the stadium are probably gonna throw me in jail. I'm gonna need bail money. This is gonna be all bad. And we're taking out stacks still with no regard for stack life as we're swinging this thing around. What else can we do? How else do you think I can sling this thing around here and further desecrate this beautiful new stadium? I mean, we're just gonna keep airing it out until we can anymore, I guess. And this demon might just be public enemy number one. The sole mission might be to see that that demon does not make it out of this episode alive. One more pass at the demon. And that's gonna launch us straight into the nosedive, buried that thing in the dirt. And that 
separating the front suspension right into the face of a couple of fans. Hopefully those are actually mechanics. Hey, go ahead and get to work, by the way, FDR, because that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. A show of being monsters is in the books. Long overdue, I know, but I hope it was worth the wait. We put a lot of work into this one, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, a lot of work went into this episode. So if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Please hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you have not already. We are definitely going to be coming back and doing this a whole hell of a lot sooner than it was between this episode and the last one. So make sure you hit me down in the comments. Let me know who you think won the show, who had the best freestyle, and what trucks do you want to see next time in our next installment? Where should we do our next installment? Let me know all that down below, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!